Hello, it's me Aro. Really nice to see you again. You may have seen my previous videos on configuring Nutanx cluster using the Foundation app and how I na navigated you through the Nutanx Prism dashboard. In today's video, I am going to show you how easy it is to migrate workloads to the Nutanx cluster using Nutanix move tool from other virtualization platforms you might be using like VMware or Hyper-V. Let's start by downloading the Nutanx Move QCow2 image, which is available for download on the Nutanx support portal. This image will be used to create the Move VM, which will serve as the migration tool. First, you have to enter into portal.nutanx.com and login. So, I have logged into the Nutanx support portal. The image for the Move VM can be found on the downloads page by clicking on the def drop down. If you scroll downwards, you will find move under essential tools. Inside this, you will find different options for installing the move tool. We will be deploying the move VM on our new tanks cluster. So I will use move QCow to file for HP. You can simply click on the download button to start downloading this. As you can see, I have already downloaded the file, so let me take you to the Nutanx Prism console to upload this image. So now you go to the Nutanx Prism console to upload this image. First you go to settings and then to image configuration. On the left and click on upload image here we need to give the name and type of the image the image type should be selected to disk and then select the storage container to place this image in then click on upload a file and then choose a file to browse downloaded qcow to image after selecting the file click on upload and then Click on save. On the top left, you can see the uploading progress. As you can see, the upload image task is now completed. If I scroll down, I can find the image with the name we provided earlier. Now let me create a VM for remove using this image. I will go to the menu and select VM. Then I will click on create VM button. In the pop-up, I will enter the details for the VM. Let me enter the name for the VM which is Move Nutanix. As per the Move User Guide, I will provide 2 vCPU, 2 core per CPU and 8 GB of memory to the VM. We don't need a CD room for this VM so we can remove this. Then let me add the QCow2 disk image that we uploaded to the VM. In operation I will choose clone from image service and in the image I will select our move image. Also let's provide connectivity to this VM by adding a nick and give it an IP address. After giving all the details, click on save and we can see that the VM create task is completed. We will also share the link to the move user guide I mentioned earlier in the description below. As you can see the VM has been created. Let me search for the VM and power it on. After pressing on power on, it will show the progress in the top left. And after it is powered on, it will show as completed. 
Under the IP address of the VM, I can see that it is assigned the IP address we provided earlier. Now if I enter this address on a new tab, I can access the move portal. For the first login, it will show me end user license agreement. After accepting that, it will ask me to enter a new password for the web console. Then I can log in with my new password to access the move UI. It will ask the migration type and here you can select VM and then press continue. And as you can see, we have entered into the move UI. To start migrating VMs to Nutanix, we need to first add the environments. This will be the existing host where your VMs are and the Nutanix cluster where you plan to migrate them to. Now let's proceed with adding these environments to the Nutanix move. Nutanix move supports wide array of cloud and on-prem environments as shown in this list. Today we are migrating VMs from an SKE host so I'll select VMware SKE. I will input the IP address and root credentials for the SKE host and click on add. The host has been added and it shows the number of VMs over here as well. Then I will add our Nutanix cluster as an environment using a similar process. I will select Nutanix AOS in the environment type and enter the prism details. Both of our source and target environment has been added here so now we can proceed with creating a migration plan. You can also see that in the middle of the move dashboard it shows an overview about the migration plan. To create a migration plan, click on the new migration plan button in the new tanks move web UI. After this, a wizard will guide us through the process. After entering the migration plan name, let's select the source and the target for the migration. We also need to select the storage container for the VM in the target ASV cluster. In the select VMs page, select the desired VMs for migration. Make sure that the VMware tools is installed on the source VMs before migrating. I will be adding the Linux test01 VM to the plan today. You can see that this VM is running on the SK host and is powered on. In the next page, we need to select the network for the target VM to run on. Test network is optional so I'll skip it. In the VM preparation page, select preparation mode as automatic and check the required options under the guest operations. Then we need to provide the credentials of the user with root or admin privileges. In the VM setting page, we select the priority for the VM and the time zone. After I click on next, it will validate the credential I entered for the VM which might require a few seconds. In the final page, it will show the summary of the information we entered in this migration plan such as the source and target details and the network mapping information. We can now save and start this migration plan. The plan will validate all the information first and start the migration. You can see the details in the screen. On the dashboard, you can see the number of VMs that are being migrated and other details as well. Our VMs data has been migrated to the Nutanix cluster and is now ready for cutover. After performing the cutover, the VM will stop on the source host and run from the Nutanix host. To initiate the cutover, navigate to the Migration Plans tab. Select the desired migration plan and click on perform cutover button. Nutanix move will orchestrate the migration process, ensuring a smooth transition of your VMs to the target environment. During the cutover, Nutanix move provides real-time progress updates. 
allowing you to monitor the migration status and address any potential issues that may arise. The cutover operation is complete and we can now view this VM on the target cluster. We can see that the VM is now up and running from the Nutanx cluster and I can log into it with my credentials. If I check the source host, I can see that the VM is powered off by move and it has added some information to the VM's node. Let me verify that the VM has retained the IP address. As you can see, the VM has retained the IP address and is working in perfect order. In this way, the Move tool has successfully migrated the VM from the VMware SK environment to the Nutanix AHV environment. Thanks for being here with me in today's video. You saw that with Nutanix Move, you can seamlessly and effortlessly move uh, workloads to the powerful Nutanix infrastructure and you also saw that the workloads shift within minutes without much downtime. Please remember to like, subscribe and keep checking back for more great materials and content. Until we meet again, good moving.